as a member of the Maple Leafs, came in the 87 playoffs, uh, first round against St. Louis. And uh, Vic's going to roll that tape. Here we go. Wendell Clark springs you for the breakaway, and Smitty showing off those great wheels. Now, the guy <laughs> at Maple Leaf Gardens who stood up in front of the camera kind of ruined the shot for us here, but uh, we're going to get another look at the replay. Uh, nice plat pass by Clark. Sent you in, and you deked uh, to the forehand, I believe, on uh, Greg Mellon. And uh, it was a pretty nice deke, a nice play. That looked like a goal scorer's goal in Smitty. <laughs> yeah, but for the first time, Weddle put the puck on my stick all year long. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here's a replay where we, where we don't have the uh, impeded view from the fan. Okay, here we go. Yeah, man, you can fly. There we go. Oh, what a deke. What a move. Still a surprise here, there, I think, coming out that deep, didn't he? Yeah, he sure did. Yeah, that was. A, and of course, that was. A, well, yeah. you got that right. That was. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, no matter where I go, or when I'm back in Ontario, and I could be at uh, the the stop, the gas station stop on the side of four one getting gas or getting a coffee and people still come up to me to this day and talk about that goal. And they tell me where they were. It's unbelievable. So it's a it's very memorable, very, very exciting for sure. It was, uh, it was, a, they, it was a clinching goal. Cause you guys were up, uh, three games to none. I believe I think you made it a sweep and, uh, no, and that was, were, uh, I think it was game six. So oh, game six, so th and three, we three game, two, three to two, three two. Okay, sorry, yeah, yeah three two, yeah, game yeah. six. hadn't hadn't won a playoff round in in uh, nine years, and uh, kind of like a lot of Leaf teams we've we've witnessed recently, uh, hadn't won a, a playoff round in in nine years. So that was a significant goal. Uh, you went on to give uh, Detroit a real good run for their money in 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 the next round too. But uh, we actually have a clip of you. Not long after you scored that goal, uh, Vic, if we can play it, you were interviewed with Joe, by Joel Bowen. I've been a star a few times, and but I just go to have a you know, normal skate and just go back into the dressing room. But uh, when I went out there, I charged <laughs> out there. I charged out there. I had my stick like this, and, the, yeah, and, and, and I was excited. I mean, it, was, it was a great feeling, and uh, then I went right back in just as quick, you know, in, back in, into, the, uh, into the locker room. It was the dressing room, just relaxing, and uh, I got out to get my car. And, uh, of course, we parked there kitty corner to, uh, to Maple Leaf Gardens, and you, you couldn't move. You couldn't get outside. The people were on the streets. Like, it was unbelievable. Uh, uh, the, the policeman, literally two of them, brought me to my car. And I, and I got in my car and, and I couldn't move anywhere. They wouldn't let me go. And, and the, they had a lot of policemen came and, and, and they got all, you know, the crowd of people. And, and, um, and you know, I kind of drove off and uh, went back to, to my home, Mississauga. And right. I got that so interview. That was a pretty fun time. I remember, I remember leaving the building. Actually, I stayed there for at least an hour to sign autographs before I got into my car. Uh, uh, and, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was unbelievable, but, uh, you know, great times, great memories. That's for sure. It was, uh, if it's things you, uh, dream of when you're, when you're a little kid growing up. So, uh, it was just, my times in Toronto were, are very, very special. 